Right, so here we are. We've got a little delay on it. We've also got an override on each side. And I've made a little sort of um, voltage cage or something, you know, and because of the way that if you fit it all in, they go invisible. And then because they light up, you've got quite a nice effect. I love the rainbow lasers, guys. Good work. Good work. Look at that. Rainbow pistolas. I think we're definitely going to have to do a bit of a laser tag soon. Definitely. So yeah, so that's another way that you could do your door. Um, basically by uh, having a, a delay circuit installed. We do actually reckon that we could probably increase the delay circuit to two, two seconds. Um, so I'm just going to do that now so that you can see how that's done. If I want to make this delay longer, all I've got to do is clear out some space here. Put two more delay blocks in find the uh, origination point which is here and so instead of going from there to there to there to there what we'll do is we'll break this link and put it here and there and have it just snake around and that's fixed so now we just fill this back in and it's good to go so now there's a two second uh, delay on it is there anybody around to come run yep, through yeah. my door you might want to do the uh, reset button first as well. Give it a go. Nope, oh, just two people. Should be okay. There's a delay, so as long oh. as you, as long as one person activates it, and then you all go through it, because the amount, it's the amount of time between triggers, you know. So it should stay open for long enough to let everyone through and then the last guy gets trapped. <laughs> but you all seem to be making it through okay. And you could make it a hell of a lot more complicated than this. All I'm doing is a basic delay circuit. I know how to make it so it wouldn't do that. Excellent. Well what we'll do is we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have another slightly more advanced delay system. So what we've got is... A three stage opening door so the first is for the first layer the second is for the middle and the third is for the final layer they are triggered in sequence every half second so that is the first the first sequence so we link the delay to the activation and the next delay then we link the next delay to the activation and the next delay then we link the uh, last delay to the last activation for that final door to trigger it, we're going to use a one and a half second delay circuit, so three delay blocks attached to each other, and then the final one attaches to the first delay for the door. So there should be a one and a half second delay, and then each door will open every half second. So this one, the first activation block attaches to the first delay, and then the area controller is sat next to it. So then we put our uh, area controllers on both sides, and all we're doing is making a slightly more complicated version of the last one. So, if someone would like to walk forwards and be the test subject... Oh dear, I think you sent a double pulse through. Keep going, man! Keep going! Oh, it looks like I missed a bit. <laughs> Actually, that did work. Yeah. But I, I appear to have missed a bit, though. Yeah, that block there isn't... Um... There we go, right. And then if I just select it area controller and put that back on there we go there we go, there we go. that's all fixed right. do you know what I could just yeah uh, four two four five it seems to be taking quite a long time to cycle back in yeah, yeah it will. three people went through. Oh, three people went through it, right. Yeah, that would definitely uh, do it. There we go. Right, let's just see what happens now when people use it. You got through okay. And <laughs> it glitched out a bit. It needs that override switch again so people can, like, close it when they want to. <laughs> it's hey, funny. Go. It works though. Fixed it. <laughs> it's a bit 
derpy, but it works. So there we go. That's another one. Done. There's hunger. Mate, how does it feel to be stuck inside a Plex store? Warm, sad. Are you sad? Well, luckily, this guy over here with the deal with it shades might be willing to walk close to you, and then perhaps we can free you from your, uh, free you from this hell. There you go, you can move now, quick. Quick! Yeah, he's out of there, right. Oh my god! Sorry, suddenly missiles. <laughs> okay. <coughs> so. Oh gosh. So, here's a very basic um, idea for a door in a corridor. So you've got two areas each side, two areas each side, and then you've got the doors themselves. Uh, uh, so the area triggers there, it does both doors, and then you've got the uh, actual activation block underneath, which does the doors. It's exactly the same as what we've been doing up till now, but smaller, and as you can see, <laughs> There's someone just chilling in the door. I think he's stuck inside the ground. <laughs> he's stuck yeah. in the. How does There's, it feel to be? There's no saving him. How does it feel to be stuck inside the door, bro? Can't say. I don't think Baldy's in. Here. He has no voice. So okay, so yeah, there it is. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to make this so that it doesn't, so that it lets you through and locks it open until someone goes through the other side. Oh. I Here mean, I mean, I would have thought that one way to do it would be to set off some kind of delay circuit so that you separate these two areas. Let's try that. Why aren't the doors opening? Hmm. Okay, let's just take that circuit off. Do you want to try it again? Looks like a mouse testing or something. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Find the cheese, yo. Find the cheese. That's weird. Cheese, that cheese that door just isn't <laughs> opening. Hang yeah, on. You fell off. I couldn't find the cheese. Ah, there we go. Right, it's working again now. I broke it. I have to go... There's an, there's an area. So, right, you have to walk on the left-hand side, otherwise it's not going to work. Yeah? So there's, only, so there's only one trigger block. I'm going to... I'll indicate it with um, a light. I just want to test if it's that multiple blocks are giving off multiple signals. Because if it's that, then there's an easy fix, isn't there? You just have one block. No, that didn't do it. Do you want to walk over that block? It's nope, still double, it's still double triggering, isn't it? Yep. Hmm. Just go to the hooky hooky. So first of all, we had our uh, first, you know, the doors that we have right now. Got a permission block behind one of the doors, and people can use this door here to open the door. With logic we can replace the light with a button so people can push R and regardless of faction they can get through. Uh, with the uh, area uh, detection we can use um, a faction permission block in the wall I think it is and then an area detection gate with areas in front of and behind the door so that it'll open and close. Ish. <laughs> For one person it works, for multiple people it gets a bit tricky. Um, we created one with a delay circuit on it, so as you can see here it's got a two second delay. And it's got a manual override button if you want to actually make it close or shut. You know, because it's, If it's open, if it's stuck open, you can close it. Uh, this one was slightly more complicated. What do we do with this one? We made this one open sequentially, so it goes first door, second door, third door, so it opens in three stages. And then the third door is uh, this one, which we have been... I don't think we've actually done this one yet. We've been messing around with prototyping here. So the first one that we did was this one. What's going on with the hull over here? That's weird. So the first one we did was um, was this one. So you just walk... The Yelby's demonstrating it now. The problem is sometimes you actually get a double trigger. So it's opening and closing it. There you go, you got it mate, go. 
<laughs> For some reason, we're getting a double trigger from people walking through the areas, which can sometimes close the door before you get through it. So... Don't walk in the middle. Mm. Don't walk in the middle, is that what it is? I'm guessing. 